Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today I'm excited because I'm bringing you another video using a beautiful um, collection. It's a digital kit and the name for this digital kit is French Country Lilacs. And it, is, uh, it was provided to me by Creative Paper Artisan. So um, this is another beautiful collection that I'm gonna use on this video. And I'm just gonna show you some of the paper, uh, pages. Um, it brings everything that you can think of. It brings envelopes, cards, belly bands. It also had this to do um, a paper clip, you know, an actor paper clip. It have this that you can fussy cuts and use as die cuts. Um, so you have pockets, tags, envelopes, belly bands, and the paper is so gorgeous that I can't wait to use it today. So I will link her information um, on the description box. And I'm creating these videos um, besides my channel for my group on Facebook which is Crafting with Creativity, and I will link the group information on the description box as well. And let me move my computer mouse out of the way. And I will link all this information on the description box. So if you are not part of Crafting with Creativity, I um, encourage you to visit the Facebook page and become a member of the group because we have a lot of swaps, um, ev different events like swaps, challenges. We also have um, contests and all that fun stuff. So if you haven't checked it out, I will link everything below. And the name of this collection is French Country Lilacs and is by Creative Paper Artisan. And I will link her Etsy store um, below in the description box. So today, you know me, I like to alter stuff. So I was looking at home, what can I use for this beautiful paper? And I found on my stash, this I got a Hobby Lobby, like, you know me, I always get stuff on, clearance on Hobby Lobby. So this was 99 cents and the regular price was $3.99. And it's an eyelet string envelope. It brings six in a pack and it was six, it was 99 cents. And I want to go ahead and use that, um, this project. I went ahead and take this off because I don't think that I'm gonna use it. I just wanted to use that envelope, but if you don't have something like this, you can always make your own. I made this envelope with some um, um, a paper pad that I have, a 12 by 12 paper pad that I wasn't using anymore and I have it laid down. So I make a couple of envelopes with that paper pad. You can see here, so if you don't have something similar like this, you can make your own envelope and you can use that. Um, I will try to maybe make a video later on um, how to make those envelopes, but um, they're really easy to make. Um, you can find a lot of videos on YouTube um, where you can create your own envelopes. So this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use two of those bags or envelopes. I just, um, fold them in half. And then if you haven't seen my video on how to use, well, it, the video is not up yet, so, but soon it's gonna be on, on how to use eye shadow to, you know, coloring your background like an art journal or something. Um, well, you will look for it later when I upload that video, but I bought two eye um, shadows on, on it was on Dollar Tree. This is the ones that I got. And I'm gonna use them on a challenge to, you know, color your background um, with the eye shadow. I did one video, but I don't know what happened. It just, it was all messed up. So I couldn't use it. So I had to create a new one and upload it. 
because I, I had the other video and I haven't been able to upload it. I don't know what's going on with that video. I may need to do a new one, but I'm still trying to figure it out. But So I'm gonna use these two packagings from the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna like repurpose them and you're gonna need two envelopes. Um, I don't know the size, but you can use, oh, you know what? You can use the Manila envelope, the six by nine. So I know I'm not gonna even measure this. And one, I'm gonna try to use one of these, um, you know, the mail, junk mail envelopes that you get on your mail. So I'm gonna use that. And actually I'm gonna, on this one, I just gonna fold it in half, but it's because I'm gonna cut it in half and we're gonna use both um, half on this project. So this is, my idea for this project and let's see how it goes so i was thinking that i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, glue these two together and do a pocket here and then i would uh, find a way uh, maybe with watch it take to connect this to the to each envelope and that will be like flaps where i'm gonna put maybe some um, maybe pockets or journaling space, something like that. So that's what I was thinking. And then with this, I'm gonna also attach it here and we're gonna have like a pocket that we're gonna use. So this is, is like, I will call it a envelope, mini envelope folio. That's the name that I'm gonna give this. Um, and we're gonna figure it out. I may even, hmm, I'm getting a new idea here. Let me see, let me see getting excited here so i may attach this here so this is going to be on the middle i'm going to attach this i'm going to use this flap here and i'm going to close it like this oh you see you see ideas are getting to be now okay so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to pick the papers that i want to use to decorate my envelopes and but you know what? I think I'm gonna start attaching some of this here because that way when I decorate the envelope with the papers that I'm gonna use, this is gonna get covered. So I'm gonna start attaching my envelope to the to the to the other envelope. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this here. So that way. Uh, we, we will have a, a pocket here and this you want to see because you're going to cover it with the paper so you see i'm just going to um, glue this together here so that way we will close the envelope and we will have a pocket um let me grab here a piece of paper to protect my um my mat since we're going to be gluing stuff here let me move some things around here so i have a space let me move all this for a moment let me put it here on that side and then oh and i print some of the papers and cardstock and some of the paper on regular um copy paper because it's easier for me to uh, work like when you're gonna glue the paper to the background and all that so let me start with closing i wish i can find my other one that is larger than this let me see just a second please okay i have one larger here that i'm gonna use that's that's better i like it better that way i will protect my surface so let's start with closing this and i think i'm gonna just use my double-sided tape and i forgot to tell you i have some inks that i may use like for distressing um this is purple it's like a purple color it's a petunia is the name i had this blue nice guy that i have used before in other videos and i have co cobalt and i'm sorry if my pronunciations are not perfect but i hope you understand what i'm saying so um, I had that, I have some watchy tapes. Here I have some watchy tapes. I have my double-sided tape and I, I have my masking tape too, just in case I need it for something. I, I, I wasn't sure what I was gonna create, so I always bring a lot of stuff around me just in case. And I have also some index card 
um, in case that we need it for journaling space. So let's start with closing this. And I'm gonna go ahead and close both of my half, you know, the ones that we cut in half. And let me just make sure that I don't go all the way to the flap. It doesn't matter if I do, but why we're gonna waste material if you can, you know, save some. So um, just grab your envelopes that you have around. If you don't have envelopes, just create some with your paper pads that you haven't used in a long time. And we're gonna repurpose some of these things and create a new project and something beautiful. So just go ahead while I do this, go around your house and find stuff that you can use on this project. And um, if you don't have the paper and you don't have the means, like maybe to get the same paper that I'm using, just use something similar, but if you really like this paper that I'm using, then go ahead and, you know, visit her Etsy store, Etsy store and you will see, you will find this collection on her Etsy store. And it's a pretty beautiful collection. And she has a lot of, she has included a lot of things there. You know, on this one, I was talking about not <laughs> using stuff more than you need and look, so this one, I I'm gonna make sure that is the right size, but I'm not worrying about that because I will figure something out. And, but you see here, I just use um, more tape that I was supposed to. Let me see if I can take that. Oh yeah, you can, I can take it off that little piece here. So let me cut it off. There you go, I fix it. You see, I'm not stressing about it. Made a mistake, just fix it. Or try to make it work. <laughs> okay, so let me just keep working here. Okay. So let me close. Okay, so I have my two, my two pockets here. My other pocket here. And maybe I should because it's gonna be easier if I already go ahead and use the paper that I'm gonna use on these two mini flaps that we're gonna have. So let me see what paper I wanna use for these two pockets. I know that for the background on one of those, of this, I think I wanna use this one. And let me see for the other pocket. I think for the other one, I think I'm gonna use these two for the larger envelopes. Yes, these two are gonna be for the envelopes, the, the larger ones. And then for the smaller ones, we're gonna use, let me see what we have here. And I like this one. I wanna use something that you know what, I'm gonna use this one for one of the smaller one and this one. And maybe, because I wanna use um, as much as I can of these papers. So, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. So let me just move this to the side for now. So for this part, for one of the side, I'm gonna use half of this one, and then this will go with this one, and this half for the other envelope in the back or the front, it will go with this one. So that's what I'm gonna do. And let me just grab my paper cutter for a moment, so we can cut the, the edges and all the white edges out. sure that is this 
just want to make sure that I don't break the paper before using it. Even if I break out, I will use it, but you know what I mean? So let me make sure to be very delicate with my paper. It's just that I was so excited to use this paper that I even almost break it <laughs> with my cutter instead of cutting it. I almost rip it off the edges. Okay, so I have this one ready. Let me just go ahead and do the all four papers right now. So we can get this coated out of the way. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's going on with my cutter today. I have to be careful. And this is the same paper that I always use on my, all my videos, so I don't know what's going on today. Maybe it's my excitement of using this new collection. So I'm getting so excited about all these collections that I'm able to use on my videos because these ladies are very creative. And they're creating so beautiful digital kits. So if you haven't seen my other videos that I use, other um, paper collection from um, another digital kit, I use like two different ones on other videos. So you can go ahead and look for those videos on my YouTube channel. And you can see the ones that I use on there. So. Let me go ahead and determine how I going to, what perfect to use where. So I think outside, I'm gonna use these ones. And I, I just gonna use the top part. So here on the inside, so on this side, I'm gonna use these two. And then inside, on the other side, I'm gonna use these two. So let me go ahead and glue this. And I'm gonna make sure this is gonna that I'm using the right side and that it's not upside down. That the flap, my flap has to be like this. So, so I'm gonna glue this one and this one. And I ran out of my other, the other um, glue stick that I use. So I'm just gonna try this one and see how this one work. This I got, I don't know where I even got this. Maybe Dollar Tree, I don't know. So I'm gonna tr try to use this one right now because I don't have any other glue stick. And if I use the liquid, um, the liquid glue that I have, it will um, wrinkle the paper a little bit. I need a better glue, I guess. So, but hopefully this one will work fine. If not, when I get my new glue, I will just go over if in the places that maybe um, get unstuck or on glue, I will say. Okay, so that part is ready. Let me just cut it off here. And don't worry if you think that I'm wasting paper with all this that I have left. Don't worry, because I'm going to use it for another project. Like I'm going to do with my other um, digital kits that I've been using. So don't worry about it. I'm going to find a way to use all those beautiful pages that I have printed. I just cut it a little bit. Okay. So then on the inside, this one is the blue one or the purple, I can say. So I'm gonna use this one. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little butterfly here that I wanna use. So let me see. Because on this one, you see this little white fluff here? I think I'm gonna cut that. So it will be the same on both sides. So let me cut this.
Okay, so now I'm ready for my paper. And I don't know how this glue is gonna work like in this envelope, cause it's kind of feels like heavy cardstock. It feels like um, craft color cardstock. That's the feel of that envelope. So let's see how that works. On that one, I may use um, my liquid glue. I'm just gonna maybe um, use my um, paintbrush and make sure that I distribute the glue um, everywhere. So we have one pocket ready, one mini, this looks like a mini envelope. Um, let me see if I can do a little notch here so they will know that this is kind of a pocket. Well, it's a pocket. So we have this one ready. And let me go ahead and distress the edges before I attach that to the envelope. And I think I'm gonna use my nice sky ink. I had distress ink, but I had this out. And I, I say I'm just gonna use what I have here right now. And I didn't want to use like brown or no, I didn't want to, I, I know I, I like vintage stuff, stuff but I didn't want to, um, to look like use the brown or just to make it look vintage. So I, I just going to use the, the blue. I love this blue. So it's archival ink, nice guy is the color. It, it goes pretty well with this, with the lilac, lilacs. It's hard for me to say that word, but. Sometimes I ask my daughter, do you say this word like this? Cause they were, I am from Puerto Rico and they were born in the United States. So their first language I can say is Spanish because they speak Spanish. We speak Spanish to them um, before English, so they learn Spanish first, but they usually, they, they are bilingual. They speak and fluently Spanish and write and read Spanish and English. So, but they usually speak more English than Spanish. And it's funny because sometimes I'm talking to them and, and, um, and I talk to them in Spanish and, and they respond, you know, answer me in English. But, you know, that's the way it is. So let me make sure. So that one is going to go that way. And then this is going to go here. So this one is going to be like this. So my flap on this side is going to be on the left side. So I just want to make sure because... You know, sometimes I make mistake, mistakes. Okay, so. And you, you know what? On this one, this got to the side. You see, more to the side. So I should have done this like in the middle, but 
uh, you know, escaped me. I wasn't thinking about it, but it's okay. So, is this one is more to, closer to the to the middle. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. So it will be like a decoration, like you know, like a gate that you put these brats on the gate. But let's make let's say this is a gate. So they will be like in the middle of the of the game. You know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean, but okay. So I'm gonna go this way. I know I have some craft. Um, this one, but this one is. I need a new one too. This is craft bond glue somewhere, but let's use this one for now just because I'm doing recording the video already and I just don't want to be looking around where my glue is. So let's just stick with this one and see how it works. And that would that way I will know for next time if I should use it or not. So if I never use it, I never will know. Okay, so let me make sure stick to the paper. Just let's cut this around. So let me move this paper out of the way for now and just making sure before I, <laughs> I use the inside paper okay so on inside it is go like this or like this i think it's like this yes so we're gonna glue this one here inside this paper is so beautiful looking for this it's here it was there exactly how this is going to look because I have an idea on my mind but I had never created this. I'm just trying to use things that I have at home um, that I've been holding on to them for a long time. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I have no idea how this is going to look. I just have an idea on my mind but let's see. Let's see how this looks. Um, when we finish creating this project. I just was around my house looking for stuff on my, like in my stash and see, because sometimes when I go to Hobby Lobby and I see things on clearance, I don't always get them, but sometimes I do like envelopes and stuff because I always think that I can use them for something. So um, that's why you have seen some things and clearance. So when I uh, that I have used on my videos. So sometimes when I go to Hobby Lobby, I always check the clearance section because that way that's one of the way that you can get you know to build up your stash. So let me see if do I want no I want this here on this side. And then I think I'm gonna attach this now. Well, sorry, this is this is the one for this side. So I think I'm gonna attach this now. 
Oh, it was here. Let me see. Let me see what I want to do. So this is going to be like this. So do I want it here? Like this? Or do I want it out here? Like that. No, I think I want it to close inside. And then when you close this, it will be inside. And then outside we can do pockets and stuff. Yes, that's the way I want it. So I decided, but do I want it on the middle? On, on the bottom? Let's see. I think I want... Let's see on the top. On the bottom. I think I, I want it on the middle. I like it on the middle. Yes. We're gonna use it on the middle. And I'm doing, using that glue because I wanna see how it works on this envelope before I start gluing all my paper to it. I think it's gonna work. Let's see. You see? It's attached. So I think we're gonna be okay with that glue. I wish I can remember where do I get that glue. Okay, so so far so good. So let's do this one. And then I should have done this flat. Well, I'm not gonna worry about that because here we don't have to use any paper because this is gonna be a pocket. But you know what I mean? What I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use some of this paper, like on the top. So when you open the envelope, the pocket, what you can see inside is the paper. We're gonna do that. So let me attach this little envelope, this side. Let me move this one out of the way for a moment. And it's gonna go in the middle. But I wanna make sure They don't have to be exactly the same, but at least similar to where the other one is. I move it, I move it. So that's kind of similar. Let me see, let me see, I don't wanna move it. So let me glue this part before this half. Okay. And now this half. And don't um, glue it closer, too, too close to the, um, how you call the folding line, because then it's gonna be hard to fold it. Okay, so we have this part ready. And then, let me do this here. And I think I'm gonna use the same color paper for this pocket. I don't wanna use two different papers. So I'm just gonna use this one. And let me see, I want it up to maybe there. Do I want it there? Yes. Let me cut this. And we're gonna, gonna cut two pieces of this paper for inside of our pocket. They don't have to be precisely the same size, but let's do things the right way. Okay, so let me make sure that this is 
the side that I'm gonna glue this paper on. Let me hold the closet to and maybe I should just do this. want to make sure that yes okay so let's glue this to our um, larger envelope and that way when the person or you open your um, pocket you can what you can see is the paper not the craft color inside just the pretty lilac paper that we're using today so if we have it, why not, right? Why not use it? Okay, so let's do the other one. And I'm amazed with this glow. Let's see if it was, you know, keep stuck to the paper <laughs> later on. But right now I'm impressed with the glue. But I will tell you in another video if I'm still impressed with the glue when I'm done. Okay, so you see when you open a little bit the pocket, what you're gonna see is the beautiful paper. So, okay, so it's coming together. So now let's decorate before I attach the envelopes. I don't, I don't know, this video may have a second part because um, I don't want it to be that long. So I'm just gonna decorate all this and then depending on how long this video has been i may do a second part adding the pockets and the tags and all that so i think that's what i'm gonna do just because i don't want this video to be that long and i already had the experience of my video being long and i had to divide them like in different different parts okay so we're gonna use this to cover one and then this one to cover the other one so let me go ahead and cut out the white edges from these papers and let me be careful with how i cut this because i don't want to break it Remove my two envelopes here to the side. Oh my goodness, I say that I was gonna be careful. I forget that I, I don't know why with this, I always start cutting like on the middle and then to the edges, like to the corners. And let me move 
this out of here for a moment so I have more space here to work with this cutter just move some things around sorry for my arm to be on the way but just want to move some things here so I can have more space okay so let me cut this one put it away and then let me see which one I want to use with this little envelope I think I'm gonna use this one with this one and then the other one with the other one so and I don't know if I should cut the paper in half what? Let me just measure this here for a moment. I mean, maybe I just glue it not. I don't want to do it that way. I want to, um, I'm just going to trace around if I can find my pencil. If I cannot find my pencil, then I will use it in another way. But let me see if I can, oops, sorry. Let me see if I can find a pencil here real quick. And there's one here. Sorry for moving the camera. And, and of course, this one I think don't have. I have a lot of pens, pens, so, but you know, when you need it, they're not there. So I'm just gonna trace it with a pen. So and this is gonna be in the inside. It doesn't matter that much. So let me use this pen here. When I find my pencil, let me see if I can find one real quick. Yes. Here is another one. Okay, I have another one here. So let me cut the paper. gonna cut a little bit outside the line just in case and then we can trim it if needed and I know it's gonna need it because I trace it but just want to make sure and I was thinking if I should um, cut the paper in half that way that way you know what i mean but that way when you close it instead of using the whole paper i think i'm gonna cut it in half but before i do that i want to do this
You know what? Let me let me let me use the paper first, and then I will cut that. Um. So what I'm gonna do is just cut it in half, and that way when we fold the paper, I just don't know if I don't if I want like that crease there, but let's see. And let me find my packaging because before I put the paper here, I want to see how I'm going to attach this. And I was thinking to use my trusty masking tape as a reinforcer since we're going to cover all this. So I think that's what I'm going to do gonna attach this first and of course I have to then cut the paper in half so let's do this now and then we will cover this and this and then this ones that sounds like a plan because I completely forgot about this I completely forgot that I was gonna use this and I want to use this because that's the purpose of this video to repurpose Things find a home and use a beautiful paper to create a new project. So, so let me see. Let me make sure that I have. Yeah, my blue one is gonna go on this side, and then this is gonna be attached here. So this is gonna be our hinge for this little door here that we're gonna add to the envelope. So what we have one side and I just gonna do this side too. And let me make sure this close, yes. Okay. Just eyeballing eyeballing here the size of the tape. our little flap attached to this one already. Okay, and so this is gonna be like this. And when you open it, it's gonna have this in the middle, this, this here. So we're gonna have plenty of pocket and then our pocket here in the middle. So let me do the other one. piece here. Okay, and let's attach the tape to the other side. Let me make 
attach with this close here because Okay, now we can decorate the other envelope. We have this ready. Let me make sure that it close. Let me crease it real good here. Make sure. Okay, and let me crease this one too. Make sure that it's all good. Okay. Okay, now I'm ready for the next step. And I think for the flap, I may use some of this one here on the outside. I'm gonna use this one and then the inside Oh, let me see. Now this one's okay. This one is gonna be on the outside, and then this one here I'm gonna use on the inside flap. So let me see. I wanna use. I think I wanna use. See if it's enough. Yes. And I'm sorry, I'm just sending a message to my daughter to let her know that I'm recording because she's calling me. And that way she don't have to wait until I'm done. So I wanna use this little piece up here. So let me trace it. And this is gonna be for the outside. And then a piece of this one is gonna be for the inside. So let me cut the flaps, the paper for our pocket flap. So let me go ahead and let me do the inside first. I guess it doesn't matter the um, which one I do first, but let me do the inside. Another white because I don't know what I did with the other one that I had. Um, okay, let me just close, clean this here. And let me get a piece of just to dry it a little bit. Okay, so we had the inside flat now. Let's do the other one. Let me just trim this a little bit.
Okay, and let me just trim. Okay, so we have our little flap here with the paper. And let me go ahead and distress the edges. stress the edges of this too before I forget. Okay, so now we have this flap ready and we're ready for the other paper. Okay, so I'm gonna do the inside right now. Oh, I need to find out what paper I'm going to use for this. There's this paper here that I think I'm going to use, like, in the back. This paper. Or, because, no, in the back, you know, that's what we're going to see here. So... Here I may use, at least on this one on the front, I think I'm gonna use something different that in the back. So I may use one of these in the back. And then a different one on the front. Let me see. I like this one for the front. So I may use that one there. Or we can use one of these, like one in the front and one in the back. I like the vibrant colors of this one. Or maybe even this one is similar to the ones that we use inside. So maybe we can use this one, like one in the front and one in the back. So what do you think? I like this one too. No, but this goes like this. Mm, I don't like that one too much for the front. I know sometimes I say, you should have your paper ready, um, but it's, there's so many and so beautiful that I can pick. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one for the front and back. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one, so. Put it there, and then we will keep checking and see what else we're gonna use. Okay, so this one is gonna go on the inside. Let me just cut this in half. middle flap I'm gonna use the other one that I said this one so let me put this one on the top so I don't, don't have to be looking for it okay so let's glue this one it goes like this
return. Let me return this. Trimmer here too. And now I can do this. in this little piece here. Okay, so now we have this side. I should have distressed this part here first, but look, let me trim the little paper. Thanks God that I did that. Flip it over. Guess. Now it's better. So let me distress this little part here. And then let's distress this here. And I should have add some paper here. I may do that on this pocket too. So when they open it, um, let me see. Yeah, but on this, I, I'm gonna keep that for the other side. Um, that's my little blue piece of paper. We're gonna use the blue one. I'm gonna see if I can um, put that inside there. Uh, we will try it. You will never know if you don't try. So I just want a little piece here. Let me let me close this because I don't want to damage my paper. So let's try. See how we do this without gluing it everywhere. Let's see, let's see how can we do this. There you go. Just make sure that that is completely glued there inside there. So let me just okay. So this side is ready. Now let's move to the other side. Now we're gonna go this way. Oh, 
I was making sure that is the right size because I cut the paper in half and one size I think is longer than the other one so but I think it's, it's all right. Let's trim this here. And let me do the same thing on this side and make sure that it's the same land. Yeah, this one is okay. So I can't um, like open this here because this is a, an envelope and but I want to use um, let me show you what I mean so I already put the paper on this one I want to keep this like that close because that way it will protect um, from you know putting stuff inside and out so I wanted to keep it like that like it's real hard this part so it won't get damaged over time so but i couldn't open it and make more pockets but what we're gonna have plenty of pockets so we don't need to do that okay so now we need to find out what we're gonna do with this one and this one you know what i think Make sure that this is glue. I have enough for one side of this paper. And I guess I will use a different, but you know why not? I don't want to use that. I'm going to use this. I have two here, this one and this one. So I'm going to use this one here and then piece of this on the back and let's see if i have enough for both sides oh yeah i have plenty so let me cut the um the edges because i'm pretty sure i'm gonna use one of those pocket on this flap on the packaging so why are i gonna waste so oh, that beautiful paper on that flap too so and that way it's not that busy because we're using um bc um backgrounds so this one will be the perfect one for that little flap sure that this is glue. I may need to cut it a little bit more, but because when, when I close it, you see, it bent the paper a little bit. So I may need to trim that there a, a little bit. So this one is gonna go on this flap. No, I wanna use it this way. I have to be careful here.
this corner here is like I'm sorry I'm trying to figure out how to cut this here I think I have to add more glue to the corner here put the glue around okay so let's glue this side now say that this was an eyeshadow packaging nobody will know like you see so you have to learn how to repurpose things that you have at home and that you can reuse and give it a new life so let me distress this And then we're gonna do the other half and I'm gonna end the video there. And I will um, do a second video with, you know, adding the pockets and all the other stuff that we're gonna add to this. Okay, so this one is, oh, uh, we're missing this little part here we're missing this so for this one let me see okay this is for the other for the other one and then for this in the back i was gonna use that line paper but i don't know let me see Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this on the back. Let's use this one on the back, or oh, this one.
Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna use this one on the back of this side. And look, the glue stay pretty quick. Well, here it's coming off. I guess I was kind of rough there trying to see. Um, but this is gonna be inside the paper, um, the other paper, under the other paper. So what I'm worrying about is all the other stuff that we can see and we're gonna be using. So hopefully this glue will hold on um, the papers real good to this envelope. My hands are sticky from the glue. Let me just just pressing paper there. And let me just cut around. Okay, now this one is ready. Cause this we're not gonna do anything because this is gonna be the pocket on the middle. So this is ready, this one is ready. And I like this because it will keep it like that. Like when it's inside. And we'll put something here, something here. So let's do the other, the other side. Move this one out of the way. Okay, so for this one, I know that I want on the front. Oh, this one was for the inside. For the front, we pick. I think it was one of this. Or maybe I have the other one here. Let's see which one I like better, this one or this one. I think I'm gonna use this one for the front and this one for the inside. And then, let me see if I will use the same paper for this little flap. Let me see if I can use these pieces that I have left. Oh, this one is enough. So I will use this too for the inside flap. So let me do this one first. This is gonna be, I wanna use this one on this side and then this one on the other side. I'm 
Let me cut this a little bit here because it's not like straight. Just a little piece. Cut this off. And let me distress the edges. Just want to do it um, quick when I finish one part because sometimes I forget. Do the other side. And then for the flap, I will see what I use. So this is on this side. And then again, running out of glue. So I had to look for another one. Let me see if I have another one. I ran out of this one. Oh, look. I found this one. Let's see how this one works. I, this package is new. I haven't even used this one. This is Craft Bone Repositionable Glue Stick. So let's see how this one works. Because so I was liking the other one. I think I have more of that one, but. Let's go with what we have here and see if this one works the same as the other one. I'm just checking if I don't have... Oh, look. As you look, I found fine things. So there's the other glue just in case. Trying to train this here. Look here. And let's do the little notch. Mm, it's hard. Okay, so let's distress this side now. I hope you're liking this project because I'm enjoying making this project. So I hope that you're enjoying this video too and that you like what we're creating. And we're creating with, you know, repurposing things, find a home. So that's, that's a plus. That is a plus. So now we have this little flap and then 
the front. So let's do the flaps. Let me try this one and see if this one works. Because the other one was very sticky. I don't see this one being that sticky. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but we will try and see. I don't know. I don't feel like I don't feel it that sticky, you know. But let's see. We will see. Make sure that. And you know what? Oh, you see, I don't like that. I, I, I was gonna use it like that, so I can use more of the paper. No, 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 no. I know it's repos. Um, how you say that? Uh, repositionable, but I don't like that. So let's get that one out of the way and use this one. I know that I like this one already, so let's use this one. This one is real sticky. I like that. You say pen and gear glue stick, non-toxic, washable and acid free, but um, I think somebody gave this one to me, this little package with I think three on it. So I don't know if, if they were from Dollar Tree or from where, but this one is real good. I like it, sticky, very sticky. Make sure. There. But the other one you can kind of feel it some some places, but let's stick with the one that we are using since the beginning. side I just want to press here real quick so I make sure that my paper is thick and now this side maybe I'm pressing um, too hard on the glue stick and that's why I ran out of that one so fast I don't know why I, I I just realized that I was like pressing hard the glue stick uh, pressing hard the glue stick so maybe that's why wait wait, wait. let me do it this way And these two pieces, three pieces, what we have left from that paper. So let me get those out there. We use all, the whole page on this project, on the flaps. And let me distress this side. Oh, 
Oh, I still need to put a little paper here too. Okay, so we are done with the flaps. And I need to do this little flap here and let me put that little piece of paper inside of this. I may use this one here. This little paper is laying around. Oh my god. Can I cut it? <laughs> okay, grab that. Okay, so let me make sure. But I want to use it this way. Because I don't want that little pink flower showing there. I just want like that let me cut it a little bit more just a little tiny bit my god it's so difficult for me to grab those little pieces of paper Okay, so we have our little piece of paper inside of our pocket. Oop, I'm just gonna grab the, the glue. This one to this thread, that's a little piece there. I'm gonna just dress this and make sure that it's glue inside. Okay, so let's work on this flap here, a small one. And for that, what can we use? Let me see. I'm gonna use this too. Let me check the other one. I'm gonna use, just to use this on both sides, on both sides. Oh, I also had this little piece here. So I think I'm gonna use this one here and then this one here. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. See if I can use that part. Later on, I will make sure that all my corners and stuff is glued perfectly to the paper, to the um that envelope. I always go around and check all my um, corners and edges and make sure that I glue everything back together. Okay, so we have that one. And then we got this one.
I think this project is coming up real good. I really like it when I'm looking. Okay, so it, um, I said I'm gonna use this one inside, but no, outside. I think it was outside. Let me see. No, I want this one inside. I want this one outside, okay. I don't even remember what I said before, but I like it that way now. trim this I always trace around and then I don't know I always have to cut the, something a little bit so but it's better to have you know to cut and cut less paper and then you have to remove the piece that you used and I cut a little bit of the envelope but that's, that's fine and then um, you lost that piece of paper and you have to cut a different one, so you can always trim around. Little piece here. So we are almost done with this part of the video of the project, and then we will move on to the second part, which is going to be the tags the pockets and all the stuff that we're gonna add inside of our envelope okay so now we're gonna go to this part which is gonna be our front before I glue something down let me see yeah I think that's the one that I like because I don't want something busy like this on the front you may be saying you should use the busy one but you know what I think I like this one here with the butterfly but this one has a butterfly too so, so I want to go with the lighter color or the, um, I think I'm gonna use this one. Right, let me just take everything out of the way so I don't change my mind again. We use this one. I, I had decided. I'm gonna change. I'm not gonna change my mind no more. Well, it's always. It's, you can always change your mind, but I don't want to. Let's go with this one. My guy cutting, it's not a straight, let me tell you. I'm not cutting this piece of paper straight. Okay, no, I didn't cut, I didn't even cut the white edges. Let me just do it manually here real quick with my scissors. I got excited because I'm finishing this part and I'm going to do the other foam part, which is decorating inside. So I got excited there just to finish this video and keep and start working on the other one. So but let's see. And not even like this gray edge here, so let's cut that too. Okay. 
And okay, so let me glue this together here, and then we're gonna um, tie both pieces together. Um, stick, you know, glue to the two pieces together and create the last pocket on the middle. And I say I wasn't gonna press this hard and I did and look, <laughs> it's almost gone. I really need a big glue stick. Just trim the edges. papers and let me make sure that I don't have I may need to train a little bit let me see just a little bit and let this stress that sign now So we're done with the process of adding the paper to the envelopes and the flaps and all that stuff, good stuff. Now we're gonna close this. And I think I'm gonna go with, let's go like this. Let me make sure, let me make sure that this is, you see? Okay, so let me make sure, cause I want the blue one on this side. Okay, so let, so this, let me use my double-sided tape. And I'm gonna use on, on the bottom two here just to make sure. Well, I, it's supposed to go on the bottom. I, I don't know what I'm thinking. But yeah, let me go around on three sides and this one we're gonna leave open because of course this is gonna be a pocket i'm excited to see how it looks when we finish everything i really wasn't sure what i was gonna do when i start looking around for stuff to make with this beautiful paper i wasn't sure but i say I already did journal, I already did a flip book. So I did a couple of the stuff with envelopes. So I wanna do something different. I wanna challenge myself to do something different. And I knew that I was gonna use that envelope and, but I didn't know what else I was gonna use. And then I was looking around and I found all this. So let me remove this part. Let me cut this one a little bit here. Okay, and now we're ready to close our pocket. Make sure before I close everything, I just wanna make sure that And 
here I will park it. So let me make sure that this is in here. I had to trim this a little bit. Make sure that this is stuck together for real good. And let me be stretch. I may uh, use um, some washi tape here just to cover this, like to do a spine. But here it is, and I want to make sure that all this is glued together. Okay, so let's close it. Here is our mini folio so are you gonna use um washi tape here to cover that because i don't like that and i'm gonna go ahead and check all the edges and make sure that everything is glued together and in the right place and we are gonna come back with the second part of this prior so stay tuned and i hope that you enjoy the process of this um uh, the first part and that you enjoy the video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel that will help me grow my channel and please give us a times a thumbs up and that way um people will find this video better when they're looking you know for videos and ideas so please subscribe and give me the thumbs up so this is it for this first video Stay tuned for the second part and have a good night. Happy crafting.